Kiara. We're here in Sweden. Um, obviously, another good finish last week at the Jabra Ladies Open. Uh, how did you find that experience playing at Evian? Um, I loved it. I mean, I know the course fairly well. We've played there before with the national team because it's only like three and a half hours away from home. Um, I mean, we were really lucky with the weather as well, I would say, but it was really pretty. Um, I had so much fun. And obviously Morgan getting it done and winning, but to have two Swiss players at the top of the leaderboard, what was that like? Yeah, I mean, Swiss golf is definitely up there. I mean, this year it's been crazy on the LET and even on the men's side, um, Swiss golf's definitely, I mean, I feel like it really shows what Swiss golf has been doing um, for the last couple of years, really. And like, that's kind of the merit now for all the hard work we've been putting in the years prior. And I think that's really cool and just encouraging as well for the Federation, for us players on tour now and like for all the amateurs um, following us behind as well. And obviously back in this European swing now, uh, how are you enjoying it just being back in Europe, able to oh, go home so much more? So nice. I mean, I finished a tournament and I was home like four hours after and I was able to spend two days at home before flying to Sweden. Um, no, I mean, so nice. And I, I really feel it as well, like energy wise, to be honest. I mean, I took Germany off to kind of just recharge my batteries because I did feel like it was just a lot like the season was just a lot so far like emotionally as well for me um so now i already feel so much more energized as well because it's just easier without all the time change and travel and like everything's just a bit more familiar you know the food's a bit better um so now i, I love it yeah and obviously you're leading rookie of the year standings and doing very well in the order of merit as well have your goals changed with the performances that you've been putting in yeah, definitely. I mean, I would say at the beginning of the year, my goal was very much just to keep my cards. Um, and now, obviously, with that being ticked off, basically, already, it, my goals have shifted. I mean, I'll hopefully have the chance to play in Ivia. Um, I'll be able to play in the British, Scottish. Um, so it's definitely some bigger tournaments that are on the radar now where I want to try and get some good finishes and really prepare well for those events. Um, I mean, being Rookie of the Year, it's kind of my goal as well at the end of the year. I mean, I know it's still a lot left, a lot of golf left to, to go, but that's definitely on top of my mind. And then the other one's the Olympics, um, which is not only my control, to be honest, because um, it obviously also depends on, on how Morgan plays. Um, but yeah, it's, it's even just really sweet and cool to be thinking about the Olympics. Like if you had asked me four months ago, like, do you think you could play in Paris? I'd be like, hell no, <laughs> no chance. Um, and so, yeah, that. That is really cool. And then back to this week in Sweden. Um, how are you obviously feeling good yes. <laughs> after last week? Um, but what do you think you were doing well in your game that will set you up for this week? Um, I feel like I've had... So when I took the week off in Germany, I went um, and saw two of my coaches and practiced with them for a couple of days. And I feel like that just gave me a lot of guidance because we have been away so much and like you kind of lack proper practice because you never see a coach either and like you do stuff over video but like it's just really nice to see them in person as well and he was there with me last week as well to just reinforce some things and I feel like that really helped and then on top of that I feel like I kind of found a couple of things in my mental game that I really need to work on and what was able to to execute pretty well last week so I'm going to try and, and yeah work on that a bit more this week and get it even sharper. And you've played this golf course this morning? Yes. Um, so what's it like out there? What, what do you think you have to do well? Well, windy. It is like pretty much the opposite from last week, I would say, because, well, not the opposite, but like last week was fairly soft. The greens are not crazy firm, but the fairways are really firm and it's windy. Like I would want to say it's a bit linksy almost, which I mean, I haven't played that in a long time um, with being in college and everything. Um, but no, I think honestly, similar to last week kind of through the like through the bag I mean t-shirts yeah position yourself maybe not as tight as last week um but definitely iron play to be able to kind of control the ball in the wind um and try and roll some good putts in a bit of everything and uh, finally any expectations for this week or you have you how do you change your expectations now when you come into a tournament or have they changed <laughs> yeah um that's actually a great question like uh, that's something I'm kind of working on personally as well because like I mean, expectations just get higher automatically so fast. And like, of course, you like, it's good to have high expectations, but like, you also need to reward yourself a little bit and give yourself a little tap on the shoulder when you do something well. I think that's something I'm really trying to do and kind of tell myself and encourage myself that I had a really, really good, even though I didn't win and I felt like I got so close to the win, um, to encourage myself that I had a great week last week. And so that's really what I'm trying to base it on this week. And then I have my best friend on the back. Um, she's not a golfer. Um, so it's just, you know, it's 
no matter how it goes, I know I'm going to have fun. And I think that's kind of the key for me at the moment. So that's going to take my focus away from the golf a bit and just try and have fun and then we'll see what we can go.